What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out how we can swap out objects quickly inside of Twin Motion. This can be helpful for placing lights or vegetation or other things like that. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So just a quick reminder that early access to my Twin Motion course closes at the end of this week. So if you're interested in getting some more in-depth Twin Motion training, this course has everything from fundamentals and teaching how to use the program, all the way through working with materials and lighting and then creating your own example renderings. So if that's something Thing that you're interested in, make sure you check that out at therenderingessentials.com slash twin motion course. All right, so this is a SketchUp model that I've downloaded and brought into Twin Motion. It's the Fit Lab Gym Design from Luis Eduardo H. So you can download that and follow along if you want to. But if we take a look at this in SketchUp, notice how it has a bunch of lights in here um, or placeholders for lights inside of this model itself. So these lights are all in here as individual objects. Well, what we want to do is we want to move this over to Twin Motion and we want to quickly place lights at all of these locations. So I've sent this over to Twin Motion using Datasmith, but now what we can do is we can actually use the outliner to find those IES lights. And notice how these are basically set up to be V-Ray lights, but we can find them and swap them out for twin motion lights. So what I would do, because they're all labeled the same thing, is I would just look for IES. So I would search for IES. Well, then what I wanna do is I'm gonna click the drop down and I'm gonna filter this by object. What that's gonna do is that's gonna make it so I can select all of these lights at one time, like this. So now I've been able to select them all in the outliner. Well, I can right click on this and I can come over here and I can click on the option for replace object like this. Well, when I do that, that's gonna pop up a window right here. That's gonna allow me to drag the object that I wanna replace them with into this box. So I'm gonna come over here, go to my lights, and we'll go ahead and let's go with uh, this IES 12 right here. So we're gonna drag this in, and then we're gonna click on the option for start replacement. Well, notice what that did is that came in here and that replaced all of those lights that were previously in there with these twin motion IES lights like this. And notice how I can select them all and then I can adjust them to do things like turning the attenuation up, turning the shadows on, other things like that. Well, the cool thing about that is I can also select all of those now that I brought them in. And so what I wanna do is I wanna change my filter so that I can find lights in here. Well, I can, change, I can take all of those lights and select them and then I can adjust them. So I can adjust things like color, angle, other things like that. And so I can also use this to adjust things like the intensity of the lights, just like this. All right, so you might have noticed that these lights are actually facing the wrong direction. So I've gone through and um, selected them, but notice how if we were to try to rotate them right now, it kind of messes everything up, right? It puts them in the, it changes their location in the 3D space if I rotate them 180 degrees. However, if you select them all and then click on the option right here to toggle local or world axis. So if you toggle this to the local axis, what this is gonna do is it's gonna rotate each one of them around the origin point for those objects. So if I was to type in a value 180 degrees, notice how those are all going to flip 180 degrees and stay in the same location like this. So you can also use this in order to flip those and reposition them while not actually moving them in twin motion. All right, and then just real quick, you can also do this with other object types. So for example, let's say that I had these trees in here. I'm gonna go back into all for a second, but let's say I had these trees and I wanted to swap them out for a different kind of tree. Well, what I could do is I could come in here and I could select some of them, right click on them and click on the option for replace object. Well then, I could drag a new tree in. So let's say, for example, that we wanted to bring this Japanese walnut in. I can drop this right here and then click on the option to start replacement. Well, notice what that's gonna do is that's gonna swap out those trees with whatever I decide to replace them with. So again, I can do the same thing. Doesn't matter if they're the same type or not. So I can just pick up three of these trees, do a replace object, and replace them just like this. So that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. If you are interested in some more in-depth training, make sure you check out that Twin Motion course while it's on sale this week. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.